Hi, Collie Cat Kids. Hi, Cunningham Kids. Hi, Tucker Kids. Hi, Glover Kids. Today we are drawing a pug. So I have a picture of a pug right here, so let's just get started. You need a piece of paper and a marker or a pencil. Every time I draw a line on my paper, you draw the same line on your paper. So for the pug, we're going to start with the top of his head right here. So it's a curvy line for the top of his head. Just like that. Nice and simple. Okay, let's do his ears. So over here, we're going to do one wavy line like that. It looks like two bumps for the top of his ear. And then we're going to do another two bumps for the bottom of his ear. And then we'll just connect it. And we'll do the same on this side. Two bumps. And this side's a little bit different. There's one bump and then bring the line down because it's going to come to a point. His ear is going to come to a point. And then just connect it. So let's do his eyes next. His eyes are pretty far apart and they're just two round circles. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. You can do two round pupils in the middle. Okay, we're going to do what looks like his eyebrows, but it's really it's just some wrinkles above his eyes. So right here, we're going to do a wavy line. And then another wavy line right above that. Let's do the same on the other side, wavy line. These are just wrinkles. And then another wavy line. So let's do his nose next. So his nose is right in the center, just a little bit below his eyes. We're going to start the nose like that. We're going to make it sort of a triangle. And then we'll do his nostrils. So let's do some more of the wrinkles that he has. So we're going to do the first wrinkle. It's going to go over the top of his nose, so it's going to go like this. And then there's another wrinkle right above that, so it goes like this. It almost touches his eyes. He has a wrinkle right in the center. He has two wrinkles right beside each other, right above that. And then he's got two more on his forehead, one right here and one right here. Okay, let's come back down here where his nose is. We're going to do his mouth. So just below his nose, there's a short straight line. And he's smiling, so let's make him smiling in our drawing. Let's do his tongue. Okay, let's do some wrinkles around his mouth over here. Same on the other side. And connect it below his chin. He's got a little bit more wrinkles over here underneath his eyes, I'm noticing, so let's do that. Yeah, it's definitely better. And he's got over here, he's got sort of his eye socket. 
wrinkles. I didn't realize how many wrinkles he had. <laughs> okay, let's finish up the sides of his face. So over here underneath his ear, and then on this side underneath this ear, Do some wrinkles on his body down here. Let's start over here again, right below the side of his face. And then again, over here. More wrinkles. Let's do that again. All right, let's do his front legs. So over here, give him a paw, and then come back up. So straight line down, give him a paw, and then come back up. Do some toes. Same thing on the other side, straight line down, give him a paw, and then come back up. Give him some toes. He's got a nice big belly there. Couple more wrinkles, the top of his belly. Let's do his other paw. We see a little bit, a little bit of it down here. And we see one of his back legs over here. And then his paw. Couple of toes. Let's do some of his whiskers. It's just a few dots. Color in his eyes a little bit more. There's a lot of black coloring around his eyes. So I'm just gonna use my Sharpie. Make the lines a little bit thicker. Give him a thicker ear over here a little bit. There you go. And that's pretty much it. There's my pug. I hope your pug came out good. I hope you had fun with this and I will see you in the next video.